welcome to my youtube channel my name is Bikana. if you're new here i create lifestyle real estate and travel videos so i will be doing a skincare routine some people have asked um like literally probably two <laughs> so i'm gonna put that together actually gonna jump right into it i'm pretty blind so at this point i can't see anything so i'm gonna start off with my cleanser it's from the inky list it's the okay why am i acting like i can read this it's um the folic acid brightening cleanser helps brighten and gently remove makeup um it says use am and pm gently massage a small amount onto dampened face eyes and neck Rinse thoroughly with water, follow with preferred serums and moisturizer. Um, yeah, so this is the first step in your skincare routine. So let's get into it. By the way, I like to wash my hands before I even wet my face. So I do that. All right. I do about a pea size amount you probably can't see it all that well I rub it together I think this is a good amount for me just rub 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 you technically supposed to bring it down to your what's it decollete but I don't not all the time at least but I always try to bring it down to my neck and to get it into my neck get it up to my hairline and I always try to rub um, my nose because I realized lately I've been getting some clogged pores um, so I try to make sure I clean that as much as possible I don't know. I try to rub for at least 30 seconds, but you know, whenever I feel like enough's enough, I wash my face. So, yeah. Now I feel like enough is enough. So I'm gonna wash my face and get back to you guys. Okay, guys, so I just threw on my glasses so I can see properly <laughs> normally I do not like this much water running down my body but it is what it is and usually I go about my day and wait for my face to dry so in that time I'll probably go make breakfast or I'll just go sit down and literally wait scroll through Instagram watch a video get onto some work you know anything to distract me while my face is drying but since we're here together and we're doing this video i'm gonna get some paper towel and i'm gonna dry my face all right so definitely like to pat my face my camera is dying are you kidding me so pat it dry i could have honestly waited for my face to dry if i knew my camera was about to die so next thing i've started incorporating back into my skincare is a witch hazel i'm going to use it to just you know like i said so i realized i've been getting a lot more clogged pores and with my next product i don't rub it into my face i just pat it in so i feel like i need something to like rub or clean or tone or however you want to describe it um but yeah so generally i think it's recommended to wait 30 to 60 seconds before moving on to the next step in your skincare that's at least something that i've been reading because i was like oh my face is still wet with this serum should i wait or can i just layer the other serum on what well, i read and they're like, you know what, just wait 20, 30 seconds, let it absorb into your skin, and then move on to the next skincare step. So, I'm gonna just rub these in. 
I'm gonna let my battery charge up a little bit and then I'll be right back. In the meantime, I'm gonna distract myself with something online and yeah. So this is the next product. It's the Exfoliate um, Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant by Paula's Choice. So this thing is expensive. Okay, it's 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 um a good price. So I do not use cotton swabs or cotton pads, I should say, because this is meant to stay on your face. Yeah, you're not supposed to wash this off or anything. So me and about 99% of the people that buy this, because I've read the comments. <laughs> we just throw it into the palms of our hands and rub it into our skin now this is how i do things you can do it differently it's your money it's your product you can do it completely differently but ever since using this i have seen a change on my skin so yeah i'm definitely gonna change out some stuff the only thing i don't like about this and it could just be my product it's been leaking a lot like i don't know if you can see at the top it's been leaking a lot so i have to be very careful when i travel with it because it will just leak which is weird um yeah but other than that it's fine i really like it and it really does help my skin even my cousin has used it and she likes it a lot like the same day the first day that i use it changes now the next thing that i'm gonna put on granted wait the 20 to 60 seconds if you want i'm just gonna keep it pushing the because it's a little bit windy but anyways i'm going to put on ava natural skin Clean clearing serum vitamin c so this is what this looks like I'm really going out on a limb hoping that you can see the product. All the links are in the description box, so check out the description box if you wanna check them out. This one I got on Amazon and it works amazing for me. Like, I think this is my fourth bottle. I really, really like it. I really like it. The next thing that I want to get for my skin skincare is um, a gosha, but I tend to use my hands and I just do the motion. Like I set my finger like this, like that, and I just do the motions myself. Um, yeah, you can look up and watch other videos on what a gosha does or a jade roller what they do and how they benefit your skin from the outside in um yeah so i tend to do those little things when i when i have time again make sure your product is on your neck now the next thing i'm gonna put on is my niacinamide this is from the ordinary This is from The Ordinary, and yeah, it's really good. Malik has also used this, and she agrees to how great it is. Like this, it really does help, and she has eczema, and she said she liked it. Yeah, so rub that in again. I normally do three drops of each, Sometimes, depending on how much product I have left, I do one. And yeah, so that's really all I put on my skin. Definitely finish it off with a moisturizer and SPF. This one is from Supergoop and it's SPF 50. I really, 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 really like this one. It is a bit pricey as well i'd say these two are the most expensive things in my skincare right now and inculus is very affordable the ordinary is very affordable 
and this is very average price so most vitamin C that I see are around the same price so yeah I try to squeeze out that much and I do this I know it's weird but I do that and it gets all the product off it's a little bit weird yeah well um yeah what I really really like about this product is that for SPF 50 and for a product that's white it doesn't leave any um, gray cast on my face especially being a black woman um, even though I am my complexion I run into the same issues that when we use products especially SPF it'd be like gray like who wants to walk around with a white face um, no nah, it's not a good look for SPF so when I went into Sephora and I asked I was like which product is really good but doesn't leave any white cast and she said super group and a hundred percent recommend it and um, yeah that's basically my skincare and that's the same thing that I do during the day that I do at night the only thing at night I would recommend using a retinol um, I also use the S um, the I also used the vitamin C serum for this product um, true skin it's really nice it's the only thing that this is done this is a bit high price for the amount that you get but I'm telling you true skin vitamin C serum and retinol is really really good and then when I'm doing mask I use this by the ordinary so this one is also a really good mask I only use it two times a week for no more than 10 minutes each time and I might do an Aztec clay healing mask you can get those at the beauty supply store for five dollars you can get the big jar for $9.99 um, yeah. so thank you for watching this really really quick video I'm gonna go about my day now and yeah I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions just drop them down below we could chat and make sure you check out the description box for all the links they're very, very, very nice products and they work for me, so I hope they work for you. And if you try any of these products and they do work, or if you currently use any of these products, please let me know what your experience has been. Everyone's skin is different, so take all of these recommendations with a grain of salt. Always try to patch test something before if you have sensitive skin. And if you have like extreme acne, try going to a dermatologist that best suits you. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.